for current and former smokers who are between the ages of 55 and 80. Lung cancer screening could save your life. And today, Dr. Matthew Shabet from Moffitt Cancer Center is joining us to talk about the life-saving tests. First off, doctor, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Well, and this is so important, I think, to get across to our viewers and just society in general. Let's first take a step back. Who is at risk? Who needs to pay attention to what we're about to talk about most? Sure. So the current guidelines of people that are at risk are people 55 to 80 years old, that are current smokers with a substantial history of smoking that we quantify as pack years, 30 pack years of smoking. Okay. Pack years is your approximate packs of days smoked in multiplied by years smoked. So you smoke a pack a day for 30 years, that's 30 pack years. Two packs a day for 15 years, that is 30 years. But former smokers still qualify for this. Former smokers who have that same history and same age range, but would have to quit smoking within 15 years. These are the high risk people that we have identified that can benefit from lung cancer screening. Now, is, is people who have lung cancer in their family history, is, are, do these tests pertain to them or are we just focus on a former or current smokers? Sure, absolutely. Those who have a history of, of, of family history of, of lung cancer, um, we actually have in the what's called the NCCN guidelines, we have a little bit of wiggle room. If you're a 50 year old with say a less substantial history of smoking, mm -hmm. if you have a history, a family history of lung cancer, then you may qu still qualify for this because we realize that let's say you're 54 years old, mm -hmm. we don't want you to necessarily wait a year to come back if you have still a substantial history of smoking and a family history of lung cancer. You've got the, you've got the whammy. Well, let's yeah. talk about the screenings these days. Yes. What are the tests? How invasive? What do they involve? It's one test. It's called low-dose computed tomography, LDCT for short, or okay. CAT scan. We've all heard of CAT scan. Non-invasive whatsoever, no needles, no drugs. It takes about 30 seconds. You lay down on a table, and it's just a series of x-rays that we take. What are you looking for in those x-rays when you get the results back? Sure. We're looking for something called nodules. We're looking for these little, round, little, sometimes solid, semi-semi-solid, or something. Sometimes they have like, almost like a glassy-like appearance. And we're looking for nodules that have very particular characteristics. Size is the most important characteristic we're looking at. If we start looking at, we start seeing things over what's called six millimeter nodules, then we start being worried about what the possibility that this may be a cancerous lesion. You know, lung cancer seems to be one of those, I feel like that maybe doesn't get diagnosed right away. How important is it to get these tests to be able to get that correct diagnosis? Is Absolutely. there any other way or? Absolutely. Typically, before lung cancer screening by CAT scans, lung cancer patients were, were brought in, A, they were symptomatic, or, yeah. or B, it was just by happenstance. It was caught through some other bad luck. Yeah. So, um, and, and by that means, most lung cancers were diagnosed as late stage, over 68% being diagnosed at late stage. Lung cancer survival is dismal at that, about 4%. By LDCT or CAT scan, we're, we're shifting the stage. We can now detect lung cancer earlier where it's much more treatable and you have a much better survival. And the important point is that a lung cancer screening or a CAT scan is not a one-time event. For this to work, you, our patients need to come back on an annual basis because one year may show nothing, next year you may actually have a positive finding. So we recommend annual screenings for uh, high-risk individuals. Say somebody at home is seeing this and they're kind of thinking, well, I qualify for this but they're worried, especially when you bring up the annual aspect, yeah. but they're worried about health insurance and the medical costs, because I mean, that's what a lot of people are concerned sure. about today. Well, luckily, Medicare covers it, and under the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, it is covered by um, private insurance. So um, it is covered by, it should be covered by all insurance companies, and if you're a high risk, I re really recommend, this is a life-saving tool, come in, don't be afraid. Um, we're there to, to, to guide you through this process and, and the costs should be nothing to the patients at home. And I, I was going to say, and I think it's important just to get the information out, like your website, for instance, in case someone is interested in getting more information. And just to stress again, even if you have these tests, early diagnosis is key. Exactly. We can save your life if we catch it early. Okay, there's the information once again. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about this. We do appreciate your time. Thank you very much.